of Cancer, and thank you guys so much for tuning in. All right, guys, so quickly before I start your mid-month reading, just two announcements. So one, guys, I'm about to hit 100K at any second now, so I'm really excited about it. So thank you guys so much for your support. Um, with that being said, I did decide to fly out to downtown Chicago, so I'm going to be out there from April 18th to the 22nd. So on the 20th, I want to meet up with all of you guys, so I am going to let you guys know where I decide to go out that night. So if you want to join me, have a drink, celebrate, I'm here for it. And then also on the 19th and 20th, which is Friday and Saturday, um, April, I will be doing personal readings face-to-face -face if you do want to meet with me. There's only about two slots left, I believe, so just get in touch with me. Um, my Instagram is highvibrations44. My email is highvibrations44 at gmail.com. I will leave all of this in the description, um, but all of the prices and stuff is on my Instagram, so you can check that out, okay? All right, guys, so let's see what's going on. What is going on for the sign of Cancer? Now, this will be from about April 15th to May 15th. Okay, whatever comes out, comes out. And this will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Cancer signs. All right. What is going on for the sign of Cancer? Past, present, and future. All right, so we have your past, present, And future okay so the energy that you guys have here is a knight of pentacles in the reverse so with this energy there's either something that you're not going towards at all or you're in a place where you're really just trying to figure out the best way to move forward with it and you're not gonna move forward until you figure that out now behind that we have the page of swords in the reverse and the two of wands in the reverse okay so honestly with these cards here we have the five of cups here as well i see a situation where there's just some sort of lost cause so you turn your back on something that's very adverse and you really really expand and you find balance and you find strength and you find blessings through all of this but um really just knowing that something probably isn't best for your path so let's see how this plays out y'all now going into the past the first card that you guys have is the king of pentacles all right so with the king of pentacles this can be a taurus virgo or capricorn that you were dealing with um but it's usually someone who's very grounded someone who's good with money somebody who is willing to work you know pull up their sleeves and get to work we have the ace of swords let me pull one more card and the knight of wands in the reverse so there could have been a situation where Yes, you wanted to go in a new direction, a new start, but you knew that there was bullshit in your life that you had to cut out, okay? With the Knight of Wands in the verse, this is a player energy. So if it's not, you know, someone being promiscuous and it's somebody who's just very unstable, someone who can talk a good talk, but they're not necessarily walking it, okay? So I see you guys cutting that out and removing yourself from it, okay? The next card that you guys have for the past is the Five of Wands in the reverse, all right? So with the Five of Wands in the reverse... You don't want to fight. You don't want to argue. You don't want to be part of pettiness. You're just removing yourself from a situation. We have the Six of Cups. And we have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. So there's something that it's a, you don't want to be involved in. You don't want any problems with it, but it didn't go as expected. Okay, um, it didn't go the way that you thought it would. Okay, and maybe you were trying to manifest more out of it, but there's a sense of unhappiness here. Um, you know, not being satisfied, not having the fulfillment that you need. Why is this Nine of Cups in the reverse here? So we have the Two of Wands in the reverse. Again, something that's a lost cause, guys. And the King of Cups in the reverse. So there are a lot of player energy cards. So for some of you, if this is resonating with the love, you know, maybe it was a lost cause because somebody was stepping out of the relationship, whether it was you or another person. All right. But 
with you moving away from this and kind of knowing that something needs to be put in the past, you do gain balance here, okay? So the good thing is you're being very strong throughout this, okay? Now, going into the present moment, you have the five of pentacles. This, you know, so this is a card about loss, a card about rejection, feeling left out in the cold. Um, with the five of pentacles, it could be, again, that financial loss that you could be feeling. Why is this five of pentacles here? You have the three of cups. And the world card. So in this case, whether it's you guys like leaving a job or letting go of a person or maybe a person let go of you, this is actually something worth rejoicing. This is actually something that is going to bring celebration into your life and a new chapter into your life. Yes, the world card talks about things ending, but it talks about something very good that you're about to get into at the same time. Okay. There's just something that you had invested a lot of time in and it just didn't pan out the way that you wanted to. With the page of pentacles in the verse, this is also a communication card. So it could be that um, some communica communication didn't go in the way that you wanted it or communication was just taken out. Okay, so maybe you stopped talking to someone, maybe they stopped talking to you. Okay, but the center of your reading, guys, you have the ten of cups in the verse. So there's something that I feel like although you're going into something very good, there's something that's bothering you underneath everything. So let's see why this is here. You have the Seven of Swords. So this might be kind of like a silent suffering, guys. That's what I feel like. And the Ten of Swords. So someone feels betrayed here. Um, you know, maybe it's because of secrets about a betrayal. Oh, I've been trying to get this bug all morning. Sorry, guys. I have like these like little fruit flies. I don't know where they come from, but here we are. Um, so yeah, here maybe someone's secretly you know secretly in a place where they're really just betraying someone okay or maybe you again are just silently suffering over something that you feel is really heavy for you okay the last card here is the hanged man so this is going to be the approach that you want to take where you're not going to bend over backwards for anyone okay so this is someone who Despite what they're going through, they're going to be wise. They're not going to make themselves look dumb. They're not going to put in more work than what's needed on their part. You know, this is the type of person where it's just like, you know, whatever life is meant to be is going to be what it's meant to be. Okay, what's meant to be in my life will come in. What's meant not to be in it will go. So just having like that Zen attitude about things. I'm like, did I get this? Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Those shits bother me so much. All right. So why is this hanged man here? We have the Nine of Swords. And we have the Seven of Cups. So you're in a place where you're worried. You feel like there's a lot of illusion in your life, but you're also, it's like you're tired. You don't, you don't want to fight it at the same time. So you're aware, you're in your head about things, but I think on a physical sense or on a verbal sense when it comes to actually fighting against something that um, isn't necessarily going the way that you want it, it's like you're kind of reserved. Honestly, I, I, I see someone who is seeing a situation as a waste of time and effort, okay? And it's like, yeah, I'm thinking a lot about this, but again, I'm too tired to fight at this point, okay? Now, moving forward into the future, the first card that you guys have is the Empress card, okay? With this Empress card, um, for some of you, this could be a pregnancy, okay? For others of you, this could be just a new beginning that you just need to tend to. We have the Sun card in the reverse. And the Two of Swords. In the reverse so something happens here a new beginning that you choose to get into or maybe that just comes into your life now with the Sun card in the verse this could be something that either blocks blessings or an unexpected blessing that comes out just depending on the cards around it. so I'm gonna pull one more here we have the knight of Pentacles in the verse so with this you're choosing you know there's a situation that you feel could block blessings for you, honestly. And it's like you're not sure how to move forward with it. Um, for my women especially, if you're going through something difficult love-wise, um, just be careful. 
because I see a situation where, and this is going to be very specific, you know, I, I assume like 90% of people resonate with this part, but I just feel compelled to say it. Um, if you're in a very unstable and rocky place in a relationship and know that a baby wouldn't be the best thing right now or that it can cause a lot of drama, just make sure that you're protecting yourself and you're being safe because um, I can see that being a scenario for some people. But you have the death card, so something's coming in that's really going to change the game up, okay? Why is this death card here? You have the two of cups. And you have the page of cups. Okay. So there's a sense of a new beginning that comes in. Something that you feel good about. Um, and it's showing maybe someone from the past. Where someone's trying to be honest. Someone wants you know some form of reconciliation. But with the King of Wands in the reverse, just make sure that everyone involved is being genuine and that the person, you know, trying to come back in or the person you're trying to go back towards, um, that things would be stable. So you want to make sure that you're you're building on a solid foundation as opposed to someone who's rocky and not able to commit 100%. And this doesn't have to just be with love. This could be with friendship. This could be with work. Um, this could be with someone that you're working on a project with, okay? So we have the Five of Swords here as the last card for your future. So that's a card about conflict. Let's see why this is here. You have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. And the Hierophant in the reverse. So here's the thing, guys. A lot of this comes because of a situation that there's a lot of um, illusions all around it. You're upset about something that you're conflicted with because you know that it's not meant to be in your life. You know it's unconventional for you. The Hierophant is also a card that could represent marriage. So in the reverse, it could be a marriage that isn't working out too well. But something is just way too adverse, and I see you guys letting it go. Um, so even if there's some, you know, someone who's trying to reconcile the situation or someone who's trying to get back into, you know, good graces with you or you're trying to get back into good graces with them, I just don't feel like it's coming from a genuine place to be completely honest with you. So I really feel like there's something that you guys are already aware it can cause problems, but it's like you kind of drag it out and the problems kind of continue. So this is something that you really just have to nip in the butt, guys. So let me just pull some guidance cards and then I'm going to pull uh, an oracle card as well. So let's see what advice the deck has for you guys. And the deck I'm using, guys, is um, the Wild Unknown Tarot. King of Swords in the reverse. Five of Swords in the reverse. Temperance card. All right, Eight of Wands. There's going to be a conversation, guys, that needs to be had. For some of you, it's going to be about a third-party situation. For others of you, something that you just feel a loss and you just have to remove yourself from. Now, here's the thing. The uh, King of Swords can come about in two ways. In one way, it could just be, you know, whether it's you or someone else's energy, someone could just be malicious, abusive, mentally, physically, emotionally, verbally, and just narcissistic, um, only worried about how things are going to benefit them. Okay, just a very distasteful energy. And if that's not how a person is acting, then someone is getting pushed to a place where they're really going to have to protect themselves, but it's going to seem extreme how they react. So it's like if you keep poking and poking and poking and poking, you know, at a dog and then it finally snaps back and bites you and you're sitting here crying that you have all this blood running down your arm, but it's like you've been provoking this dog for the past, you know, however long. So it, it's, it could come about in, you know, those two ways. So whatever that is, whether it's someone that's making you feel that way or you're acting that way for whatever reason, um, your soul doesn't want any part in it. All right, so avoid conflict at all costs so that your soul can be at ease. You have the Knight of Cups. You have the Eight of Wands. And you have the Three of Wands in the verse. Yeah, 
This is something that is not going to continue and your soul is going to be happy that it's not continuing. But I do feel like for a lot of you, you may just have to protect yourself in a very extreme way. All right. So talk about what you need to do to avoid conflict and move past the conflict. All right. Because you're, you're being forced with something here and that's what needs to change. Okay. So let's pull you guys an Oracle card. This is Oracle of Visions, um, the deck by Sarah Marchetti. What guidance does cancer need? All right, you guys got two cards. All right, so you guys got card number 37 and card number 50. All right, so let's see what these are about. So let's start with 37, since that one came out first. Relationships, interactions with others. Our life is defined by relationships, family, partners, friends, and foes. Each enters and passes like a comet crossing through our sky. Some shine briefly, never to return again, and gradually fade from memory. Others settle in and remain in our orbit. A mechanical photography device displays those who have played a part in our lives. The intricate rotations create infinite combinations to represent the presence and partings. Mimicking the steps of an imaginary, imaginary, I can't even speak right now, imaginary cosmic dance, some will remain as permanent participants, although their closeness will oscillate and be relative to each other. Additional frames will constantly be added, waiting to portray others who will enter our lives in the future. Okay, so... Let's keep that in mind. Um, it does have a quote here, guys, that says, when something seems to be missing in your life, it usually turns out to be someone. Something to think about. So let's see what number 50 says for this card, and we'll tie it all together. Curiosity, comparisons, dissatisfaction. The quote here says, one of the most tragic things I know about human nature is that all of us tend to put off living. We are all dreaming of some magical rose garden over the horizon instead of enjoying the roses that are blooming outside our windows today. Powerful. So we are driven at first by curiosity and then by dissatisfaction to consider alternatives to our present circumstances. The grass appears to be greener on the other side of the fence, or so we believe. And so it is with this visual take on the tale of the Little Mermaid, the glass spear provides her with a means of of briefly experiencing another world, much like a vacation away from home, or a brief foray into a different lifestyle. The experience can prove to be intoxicating. It may turn out to be something that leaves us discontent, or it may provide us the impetus to move on and make such changes permanent. But we should be wary and consider carefully whether we would truly belong in this new environment. We should try to judge it for what it would be in reality. The attraction and appeal of those brief encounters may not survive a lengthier commitment. So guys, this is very, very clear. Okay, you're in a place right now where you're trying to figure out what's right for you, what's good in your life. And there's going to be two aspects of it, just like what the card spoke about. And one aspect, and let's say that this is about relationships. If it's not, you can apply it to whatever it is that you're dealing with, whether it's changing a job or, um, you know, just changing what you do and changing the people that you do it with. But the biggest mistake that I've seen people make, and I actually seen cancer is very prone to this, okay? And I say this without judgment because we all fuck up in one way, shape, or form. But it can be so easy to see something that just looks so shiny and it looks so new and it looks so fun and to really desire it and to really want it. And like as an example of that, I, I had someone message me years ago and they were trying so hard to get through to me and to get to me like in a romantic sense, but they were fully married, like full blown family, everything. And they're like, you know, you're the perfect person, blah, blah, blah. And you know, I'm not even responding to this. And it got to the point where I'm just like, yo, I am one second away from hitting up your wife. Like, don't do it. But this person, you know, what they didn't understand is, yeah, you're going to look at a person. And for me specifically, and this is just, it's going to apply to anything. We want to post the good things about ourselves. Okay. We don't 
I, I know a lot of people could post a lot of negativity, but for the most part, a lot of people, we post our highlight reels. We post us when we're all made up and looking our best, okay? So I'm just like, you you sit here and, and you're, you're putting me on this pedestal. Little do you know, I'm probably more fucked up than your wife, you know? And it's just like, people are sitting here and, and they want to look at something like it's so amazing, but you can't compare a brand new honeymoon phase with someone that you've been fucking with for years. It's just, it's, it's not the same shit. So it's just, you have to be smart when you're comparing the two. You can't look at something new versus something that you've had for a while. It's just, it's not fair to compare it. You have to think, okay, who is this person realistically besides, you know, the, the, the lust that I feel? Who is this person really? Like, get to know them at the core. What bad habits do they have? Um, what attitude issues do they have? What do they need to fix in their life? What are they hurting about? Okay. And my thing is, see how people treat people in retail and like restaurants and stuff like that that's going to tell you a good you know uh, it's going to give you a good sense of who they are but also wait till a person is in a really bad spot where they don't really have a lot where their back can really be pressed against the wall how do they handle that so that's one mistake that people make where again they're going to compare something brand new and shiny as opposed to something that they've kind of been having this back and forth with and then it's going to be you know the other aspect of this where maybe it could be better okay so you really have to think of this from an outside perspective you're gonna have to kind of have like an out-of-body experience and try to be real with yourself all right so with this, guys, you don't want to do anything too rash. You don't want to go based off of a heightened emotion, you know, at a time where you're going through turmoil. You really want to think logically about this. So you guys are deciding what's meant to be in your life and what's not meant to be in your life. But take your time with this, all right? Don't just toss a person to the side because you're you're getting into an argument, all right? Don't step out of your relationship just because um, you feel like an Instagram model, a model would do better for you, okay? Because the most beautiful people on Instagram and all this shit, we're, we're the most insecure. That's what it comes down to. So it's just like you, you have to be real. Make sure that you're going through something or going towards, a, you know, the goal that you want instead of something that's just gold-plated, okay? So make sure that you're going towards the right thing and make sure you're not making any irrational decisions. So... Honestly, whatever it is that you guys are going through right now, whether this is with a person, whether this is with a job, a family member, handle it. Look the person in the face or look the situation in the face and handle it. Truly handle it with no outside sort of, you know, bullshit. Handle your shit. Don't, you know, go from one thing to the other and make it look messy and sloppy, okay? And I know for a lot of you, it could be vice versa. Maybe you're with someone and they're doing this, but you don't want shit to be messy, Finish what's on your plate before you go and serve yourself more, okay? So see what it is that you want and decide on it without any outside influence. And then if it really just doesn't work and you know that you gave your all, that's going to give you peace of mind. So that when you look back, it's like, no, I really did everything that I could. And it just wasn't working. So I just don't want you guys to have the whole would have, should have, could have. Because right now I feel like you guys can be in your feelings about something. So again, it's all about how you're going to address it. So... Is the outside world really better than the one that you have? Or are you, you know, making excuses for the life that you have and trying to tell the world that it's a great situation when it's really a shitty one? All right. So you really have to determine what am I truly in right now? Okay. So, yeah, there's a lot to look at here. Now, I will be back with your May readings next. So let's see how this situation develops. So, again, guys, if you want to reach out to me for Chicago, my Instagram is High Vibrations 44 I also post daily energies there every day. So if you guys want to see what's going on in your day, it's always there. And then if you guys just want a reading aside from the whole Chicago thing, um, highvibrationswithliz.com. I do offer 30-minute readings, and then I offer quick questions as well. So if you just want to ask, like, hey, should I date this person? Or uh, should I go to this place on Friday? Would it work out? Things like that. Then you guys can totally get that as well. But again, everything's in the description below. All right, guys, so I love you so much. Good luck with this cancer.